Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial on Unity and today we're gonna just um, change uh, and improve some of the, the script that we have been working on uh, so if you remember we had this uh, script actually we I just realized that the whole idea of just making the line disappear was not working so we're gonna check that and also the fact that in the last uh, tutorial I accidentally uh, use a function that that makes this uh, happen forever really and we don't want that to happen forever so if we go even back to the previous script we would I realized that uh, we should have used get mouse button down instead of just get mouse button right so we change down for mod button down uh, quickly we would see that now you see that now we click and that happens and instead of just uh, happening constantly right and the other problem that we had is here that we should have put the um, the second vertex of the line to be uh, the point so you see that now the line disappears once we um, once we just n we're not hitting anything right so we can hit this object and There we go. Um, so that's good. Um, let's uh, do some changes, or let's go uh, back to the idea that we are kind of basically um, instantiating an object, right? Um, so I'm going to just copy some of the lines that we've done already in tutorial seven, and actually this should be called now tutorial nine. So. When do we just quickly uh, let's leave it there, right? Let's I'm gonna create a new one just to have a record of all of them. Um, tutorial nine. I'm gonna just um, double click on that guy. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna just copy everything and paste it in tutorial nine, right? So now we can work on this one and we can just leave 8 behind. Uh, so I'm going to close that uh, and in the first person camera where we had tutorial 8, I'm going to just add 9. It's just because I want to keep track of, of, of the videos, uh, each video one, one script or so. Um, so in this guy what we want to just do is from, let's say, use an instance of a new game object that is the element that we're going to be um, uh, instantiating right so new object so there we go and um, what we want to do is in this area instead of hit dot rotate right um, we're going to remove that line and we're going to bring some of the instantiation uh, opportunities lines right so this lines here that says uh, we create the position the rotation the new instance we bring it back here right so whenever we hit an object we create a new um, instance of some sort of prefab right so the first thing we need to do is just um, in the camera now we have a new object right so if you remember we were using new box uh, as the prefab that we were kind of instantiating right so I'm gonna just add that new object new box so in a way I will be able to uh, oh, here we're having an error um, the variable parent hasn't been initialized okay right because we were also using variable parent here so the first person control is gonna be our parent and we have that and we have this kind of placement of cubes that's what we had before right and we're creating clones and we are creating them in the position of the hit right so that's exciting uh, actually before I think that rigid body was on so I just made it kinematic that it's making so if you remember we, we left 
things a little bit like this right so if you put it kinematic now it's kind of not doing that right um so actually let's look at something uh, if I just click in the ground I can also create objects in the ground and I want to just um, in order for having a bit of accuracy here I'm gonna just uh, stop that one thing I did is just to this new box prefab I basically added a new tag called super cute so if you don't know how to do that you go to add tag uh, open the tag uh, manager and then you just type in element 0 or in element 1 the name of your new tag it could be my new new tag right whatever tag is and and the tag is going to be just like a some sort of flag or some information for an object that would allow you let's say so if i go to my prefab uh, to use that for some specific purpose right so i could say that's my new tag there and i could just click my new tag in this case i did one called super cube and then we're going to be saying that the new box is from is uh, part of the tag super cube right you could use several tags for objects um, um actually you don't <laughs> that's an error you can just use one there you go super cube and um so what i want to do is just check if the object that i'm hitting here um so when i hit the object i raycast and if um the object that i'm hitting it's super cube i'm going to instantiate right so let's do that if hit dot transform dot um, tag oh, sorry hit and you see that we should get tag there um, equals super cube right we're gonna do the instantiation we're not gonna do it when that guy is not super cute, right? We don't want to do it in the plane, we want to do it only if we're hitting an object with a tag. And we know that what I have in the screen is actually uh, that prefab called new box from the type super cute. So let's check that this is saved and let's try it now. And now we're gonna just, um, if I click in the, in the ground, nothing happens, but if I click in the cube I could actually place cubes on top of that cube right um, that's good um, I also have the right click doing the killing right uh, it's destroying the objects but let's see there's an error here probably so if I you see that if I right click I'm removing the clones in the order I created them um, so that's not the what we want I mean we want to just be able to also remove exactly the object that we're clicking not just a random object uh, in the list that's because all of the new clones are getting the same name uh, so let's set up the name of the new instance so instance and we're gonna say new instance dot name equals um, super cube and plus, and let's use a count. It's a variable that doesn't exist yet. Let's create it. So we could say up here variable uh, count from the type integer equals zero. And then whenever we do this count, we're going to say count plus plus, right? So whenever we create an object, we have a variable that it's, uh, and this one actually should be private. So there we go. So this variable is not being able to be set by the user at the beginning, but every object that we are um, creating is getting the name supercube plus a number. And that would make all the names of them different. Um, so whenever we want to right click and we find the name of the object here, that's what we did in the last tutorial, we're going to uh, basically collect the specific name of that object. So let's see if that would work now. So we're clicking on the cube, not, I mean the plane, nothing happens. If I click here, you see the name of the object is super cube zero, super cube one, that's good. And then if I just maybe right click on one of them, 
I can basically create many and just basically delete exactly the one I we had an error there with the, with the plane, we killed the plane somehow but that's fine um, we should also kind of not allow that to happen so we can do a statement to just control that killing for the for the plane. Um, we could use the same uh, the same statement, right? So if um, if hit the transfer tag is super cube, you will be able to kill it. Otherwise, if it's the plane, you don't want to just uh, you don't want to kill the ground plane, right? So let's do one more thing. I mean, because we're aiming to just have something like you know a position system that would allow us to kind of place cubes very precisely one like uh, by the other, like in a Minecraft scenario, right? So it's all about this position. In the case of the cube, at least, because um, if we try to do more complex geometries, that would be different. But in this case, what I've done is just make the prefab. Uh, you see, it's a cube of one by one by one, right? And when you basically do the raycast and it hits the face you will not only get the point but you also get the normal right and the normal is a vector that it faces in the perpendicular direction of this face like that um, at one unit so if we know that the cube is one unit um, this should be pretty straightforward because we need to just get the transform position which is in the center of the cube plus the normal and that would be the position in which we want to create the other cube, right? So if we hit this face, we create a cube in this area. So let's do that. So we're going to say um, position dot hit. It's not going to be hit point. It's going to be hit point plus hit dot um, normal, All right? And I think. Uh, yeah, but it's not actually it's not hit dot point. It's just hit dot transform dot position because this is this represents the center of the cube, right? That the normal would be a vector of one unit, so an arrow from there here, and that should be it. I think that should be it. Let's try it. Uh, so we have that cube, and there we go. You see that depending on the, if we create on the top one, it should be to the left, and then you can just go crazy, really. Um, if you want, let's just click. Oh, I forgot to click there. Um, maximum so play, so we could just uh, have a bigger screen, and in a way start kind of. Like building our little kind of scenario, right? Um, and yeah, I'm just jumping around and, and, and creating more cubes, like uh, very much like in Minecraft. Um, so it would be interesting that if we actually kind of create a I mean, we need to definitely work on the on the aesthetics and, and the view of this. I mean, the thing that we haven't put an enough emphasis on the graphics, uh, but um, yeah, it's just pretty fun actually to just um, add these cubes, and then you also have the killing system with the right click, right? So you could just create islands in the sky and, uh, and things like that. Um, so we're gonna just keep on developing this. Um, and maybe doing some kind of physics and some simulations with this kind of stuff. So, but displacement, at least for cubes, is pretty straightforward. Um, we need to start diving into the normals, and if we're going to do more advanced geometries for something like this. And I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, it's quite fun actually to just, and it's 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 quite intuitive to place them. Um, it would be ideal to have a first-person controller that could fly. Um, so we kind of don't really need ground plane. And 
and, and you can see how the kind of I mean occlusion here is really kind of helping us see some of that uh, if we would wor be working with a bit more of shadow um, and lights and shading we would definitely be able to kind of get a much nicer effect here um, and you see that that's really fun to just create things quickly. Uh, the other thing that I really want to do is just uh, in the next tutorials uh, we're going to add some counting system so we are kind of aware of how much we've created and maybe we have a limit and then uh, we could replace, I mean destroy will become uh, basically add to your counter and then just r remove from the counter so yeah so this is a very kind of uh, interesting little kind of formation that I've just created here um, so there's a lot to do with this kind of system so um, we'll keep on developing so that's it for this one. I'll uh, see you guys soon.